Heidi, can you hear me? Hmm. Salvatore, what about you? How are you doing, Salvatore? Hello. Hi, Josh. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, and hi, Heidi. Uh, Heidi, how are you? Hello. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, yes. Okay. Okay, good. Um, and so, Heidi, how was your day? Um, now I'm uh, in Japan at 11 p.m., so I'm a little sleepy. I'm sorry if I disappear suddenly. <laughs> okay, no worries. Um, yeah, but it's nice to have you. And Salvatore, welcome as well. Salvatore, how was your day? I'm fine, Josh. It is everything okay. Today is my day off from work and uh, I'm here to study. Okay, good. Um, one thing, maybe, everything is okay. Instead of saying it is everything, everything, everything is okay. Everything is okay. Okay, yes. <laughs> cool. Um, and Daniel, are you there? Hello. Hi. How's Hello. it going? Hi. And very well, thank you. Nice. Good to hear. Um, and Daniel, what about you? What have you done today? Today is a day off for my children because of the carnival in Spain. Okay. And uh -huh. we are spending the day in in my parents in laws. Okay, at my parents. In a yeah, in a city near of mountains and today is one it, it was going it was snowing. It's full of snow and nice. we yes, we had playing all all morning with the snow. Okay. Maybe we have been playing. With the snow all morning. Okay, we have been playing. Yeah. Cool. Nice. And that sounds like fun. Pavel, welcome to class. Pavel, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. And you? Nice, I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking. Um, and so, Pavel, what about you? What was your day like? Oh, it was a short and day, maybe. <laughs> My family, my wife and I uh, went to some uh, trade, uh, trade center, not trade center, shop, um, shop center, mall, okay. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, bought uh, groceries, uh, bought uh, something like bread, uh, food. Oh. Okay. Maybe a supermarket or a grocery store? Yes, supermarket, exactly. <laughs> Okay, cool. Sounds like a, a productive day, I guess. Christian, what did you do today? What did you do today, Christian? Uh, um, uh, I am a student, but right now I am not in class. I have class today at 2 p.m., so I'm free in this moment. Uh, every morning I, I am free. Um, okay. That's the time where I take these classes. Okay, so this is the time where you take classes. You've been taking classes. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. I've been taking classes these days. Nice. Okay, good. Um, all right, and I guess let's get started with today's class. So we'll be learning about airports. Um, and let's start with Salvatore. Can you read the title in the next few lines? Yes. Hi, Airports. Today we will learn about aeroport vocabulary and practice conjugating verbs, read comics, role play events at the aeroport. Good. Okay. A couple small things. Airport. Airport. Air, aeroport. Airport. Aeroport. Yeah, airport. So it's got that long A sound. Then practice. 
practice. Conjugating. Conjugating. Good. There you go. Conjugating. Really nice job. Okay. And let's go on to the next page. And Salva, welcome to the class. Salva, how are you doing? Salva, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. You would say. Um, okay, and Sarawa, how are you doing? Fine, and you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Sarawa, I don't think I've seen you in class before. Where are you from? I'm from Egypt. It's the first time with you. Okay, well, great. Welcome to class. It's really nice to meet you. Me too. Okay. Salvatore, can you ask Pavel the first question? Yes. Pavel, when was the last time you went to an aeroport? Oh, uh, I went uh, uh, to airport uh, uh, last fall, uh, and uh, it, it was in my city uh, in in the central of Russia. Uh, I t <laughs> I uh, came back uh, from uh, the travel uh, for or, or on Europe. Oh. Uh, you came back from where? Uh, I come, came back uh, from uh, the. Uh, uh, Riga, it's uh, the city uh, in the north of Europe. Uh, it's uh, the city uh, which uh, which is uh, situated uh, by uh, the uh, north west west north of Europe. Okay. Northwest of Europe. Yeah, um, you could also say the city in Northern Europe, but good. Uh, I came back from uh, uh, from uh, Riga. It's uh, it's city. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with it. Maybe I'm just not sure how to spell it. But um, okay, good. I think that's a really good job. We needed an article in front of airport. So, uh, yeah, last time I went to an airport. If it's a random one, if it's the airport in your city, you could say the airport. So it's the airport if it's the one that's close to where you live. But it's an airport if it's not. But okay, okay, good. And Pavel, can you ask Heidi the next question? Uh... Uh, how early uh, do you like to arrive to the airport? Uh, why? Uh, for for the international flight, we need to arrive in the airport um, until one hour before the flight. And for the domestic uh, flight, we need to reach the place uh, until 20 minutes before the flight. But uh, um, for the domestic flight, I need to have a lot of things. For example, exchanging money, or um, I need to fill some document. So I want to reach the airport um, under uh, two hours before the flight. Nice. Okay. Really good. Um, so maybe instead of saying for the international flight, mm -hmm. we, because this is general, we'd want to change this a little bit. How would you change it and make it a little bit more general? Mm -hmm. 
What? <laughs> so we need to make international flight, plural, mm -hmm. and we should probably remove the article. How would that sound? For international flights? Good. Yeah, for international flights, uh, we need to arrive. We should probably change this preposition too. Arrive at the. Uh huh. You could at, 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 at the airport. Yeah. yeah, either of those would work. At the airport, to the airport, one hour before the flight. And so again, the same thing here. Mm -hmm. For domestic flights. Yeah, good. Domestic flights. We need to arrive 20 minutes before the flight. Good. Uh, fill out is one thing. I need to fill out some documents. So, um, yeah, and I think you said for international flights. International flights. I need to fill out some documents. So, I to reach the airport two hours before the flight. Really good. Okay. And so we've got a few people. Cassia, welcome to class. Cassia, how's it going? I'm doing well. For, thanks for asking. Nice. Uh, yeah, of course. And Christina, welcome to class as well. Christina, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Nice. And Christina, I don't think I've seen you in class before. Christina, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Brazil. And this is my first class with you. Okay, nice. Well, it's good to have you, Christina. Um, okay. And Heidi, can you ask... Can you ask Daniel uh, the same question? So, Daniel. Ah, same question. Yeah, same question. Daniel, how early do you uh, like to arrive to the airport? Why? Uh, one time I, I didn't go to an airport, maybe it's six years ago. But when I, when I usually went to an airport maybe two hours earlier okay because I, I, I don't I I I not I'm not used to tra uh, travel on flight and maybe I doubt about the airport where are where am I going to go where I I have to uh, take 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 uh, let's say to to put the um, my luggage uh, okay. taken or yeah okay maybe and other things um, this is really good. I changed a few things um, in this, mm -hmm. so I haven't gone to the airport in a long time. Uh, travel. We need to make the this into a gerund. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to uh -huh. gerund. Traveling. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to traveling. Um, so here, mm -hmm. this two is a preposition. It's not part of the infinitive. So it's totally separate okay. from traveling. Um, that's why we okay. can use the gerund here. Daniel, can you repeat these sentences one more time? <clears throat> yes. I haven't gone to the airport for a long time. Maybe it's been six years. When I go to an airport, I like to go two hours early because I'm not used to, to traveling in flight. I doubt where I'm going to go where I have to put my luggage and other things. Nice. Good. Really great job. And Daniel, can you ask Christian the next question? Christian, <clears throat> do you prefer flying or driving? Why? Um, I prefer uh, driving, but I think it depends from the of the distance that we have to, uh, I don't know, that we have to run or I don't know. Cover is a good word there. Cover, yes. 
and for example in my country uh, the geography is so heavy that you can find a lot of mountains so sometimes it's better uh, take a flight that you have that um, in the, for example you have to take your car and drive for more than nine hours so in this case I think is better flying but I think that you when you do fly you not uh, enjoy your trip like you do if you have to drive nice good when you fly you don't enjoy your trip like you do when you have to drive or if you have to drive um, really good I didn't hear what you said after the geography is so heavy that what did you say there it's so heavy because it had a lot of mountains here in Colombia a lot of I don't know how to say that um, groups of mountains of mountain ranges. Mountains. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there are a lot of mountain ranges in Colombia. Definitely. Um, okay. Really nice. And Amp, welcome to class. Amp, how's it going? Hi, teacher. Doing well. Thank you. Nice. Good to see you again, Amp. Good to see you as well. Thanks. And let's go through these words. Um, Cassia, can you read the title and the, the words? Uh, yes, uh, vocabulary, uh, terminal, gate, uh, check-in, uh, delay, security, boarding, carry-on, baggage claim, customs. Nice. You did a really great job with the words, um, even some difficult Thanks. ones. Uh, the only thing was the intonation of vocabulary. So we want to emphasize the second syllable. So like that. Can you repeat mm -hmm. vocabulary? A CO in the beginning? No, it's a VO, sorry, vocabulary. Oh, okay. Vocabulary. Uh, vocabulary. There you go. Yeah, so okay, it just thanks. sounded like you emphasized the airy um, just right at the beginning instead. But really nice job. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, of course. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Um, I will have to carry on um, in this uh, traveling context um, because I know carry on like continuing something. Mm -hmm. Just go go on or something like this. And here I'm not sure how it can be used. Okay, so does anybody know what we're talking about carry on in terms of an airport in this context? Can anybody explain? In the small luggage that is with you and you, pull, uh, you put inside the, the compartment on the top of the, uh, the seat. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we could say above the seats. Um, above. Nice. Yeah, so the small luggage that is with you that you put inside the compartment, so this, yeah. Uh, maybe say, instead of saying that is with you, uh, you could say that you carry with you onto the plane. But both are grammatically correct. Really nice job. Thanks, Amp. And does that make sense, Kasia? Um, so is this a noun? Yeah, so we'd say it's a carry-on bag. Oh. Okay. So people will ask you, do you have any carry-ons? Okay. It's it's helpful because soon I I will travel further, so <laughs> it won't yeah. surprise me with this. <laughs> yeah, what? A carry-on? <laughs> yes, I, I will carry on to my destination. No, of course I don't have <laughs> I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So it's helpful, thanks. Yeah, of course. Does anybody else have any other questions? Yeah, about uh, the last two uh, words. Baggage claim and customs? Yes. Okay. Who can explain what the baggage claim is? 
Um, is this... Oh, okay. No, go ahead, no problem. Go ahead, Katya. Okay, thanks. Is this maybe um, this declaration which we give about this, how many um, luggage we have with us? Um, not quite. Really how, much, um, how much weight? It's a little bit different, slightly. So this is a place in an airport, if that helps oh. anybody. Mm. Maybe it's uh, the place, uh, for example, when, where, uh, when you don't uh, can, can find uh, your uh, baggage. the place in the airport where you can find your baggage. So um, it will have signs when you get off the plane uh, this way to baggage claim. And so the baggage claim is just the place where you get the bags that were underneath the plane um, after you get off. <laughs> uh, but good. Does that make sense, Cassia? Yes, yes. Now, of course. <laughs> okay, perfect. And customs. Who can explain what customs is? Acceptable behavior ah. in the society. Yes, that's definitely um, customs. So we're talking about customs in an airport, though. <laughs> this is that's I mean that's a great definition. I wasn't quite thinking about that, but good. Any so the other meaning of customs? Does anybody else know it? It's an order. The place uh, you need to show your passport, and you uh, there's uh, some officer in a small box, cube, cube. Uh -huh. and then uh, you show the passport in that place. Then if he said okay, you can get into the country or uh, get out from the country. <laughs> yeah, and he lets you in or out of the country <laughs> for sure. Really good job. Uh, okay, and that's really good. Does anybody else have any other questions here? Okay, I think we're all set then. Let's go to the next page and let's try, I think we're on Christina. Can you try to read the title and Try the first sentence. Okay. Um, fill in the blank plus conjugate the verb. Let me see the first one. Um, I need to conjugate to pass, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I passed through the security line when the guard told me to step to the side. Okay, you're very, very close. Um, so remember something was happening in the past and then it was interrupted also in the past by the guard. I was passing through. Yeah, nice. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Was passing through. Can you read the whole thing together? I was passing through the security line when the guard told me to step to the site. Nice. And Amp, can you try the next one? I checked in already. I really need to run to, to my gate so I don't miss the flight. Nice. Really good job. Okay. We could also use I have checked in already, but both are correct. I checked in already, or I've checked in already. Really nice job, Amp. Good pronunciation. Sadwa, what about the next one? Okay. Uh, the luggage is not in the baggage claim. Uh, the airline must uh, lose it. Mm, it's a little bit different. Must 
have uh, loose in it? Close. It's a irregular in the participle. Does it, can anybody help her? I lost. lost. Yeah. Has have been. Must have lost it. Who would say here? Sadwa, can you read that one more time? And my luggage is not in the package you claim. Uh, the airline uh, must have lost it. Nice. Good job. And Salvatore, what about the next one? I thought uh, I... Uh, sorry, one moment. I thought... Uh, I, I thought uh, I missed my play, but it was uh, delayed. Nice. Nice job, Salvatore. And Pavel, what about the next one? Uh, hmm. uh, uh, pick me any uh, carry on uh, bags onto uh, the plane today. Nice. And take uh, tuck, uh, Take, take, take. Uh, ah, I don't understand. So this is a tricky one. It's forming a question. Could you take me? No. Okay, so this is going to be the second person. So we're going to use you. So I, you, he, she, it. So it'll be the second person. That's the one that we want to use. And then we want to use... Ah, it's Present like progressive. Uh, do you take me? Uh, do you take any carry back? But close, but because it's formed in a question, it's going to be a little bit different. Or uh, did no? Uh, did did you take no? Who can uh, tell them the first word that should be in the sentence? Does anybody know the first uh, word? I. Uh, R. Yeah, so uh -huh. R is the first word. Does that help, Pavel? Ah, R, you take uh, any carry back, carry on bets? R, you take close. We need to change the ending a little bit, so present progressive. Thank you. Oh. Good. Nah, forget this time. That's okay. That's a tough one. That was the hardest one here. Can you read the whole thing together? Uh, are you taking any carry on bets onto the plane today? Good. Okay. Nice. And does anybody have any questions on this page? Yes. Uh, I can. Uh, can I also say I thought I had missed my plane? Yep, for sure. I thought I had missed my plane. That would be good. Okay. I have a yeah. question. Hey, what's your question? Uh, um, what is the difference between onto and into? Um, hmm. So prepositions are really, really difficult to explain. Um, so think about... Okay, so we've got two circles. Let's think of this first one. If we're taking something onto the plane, uh, yeah, I guess, again, they're very, very similar. So into is just, again, in, onto has the idea that you're, like, dropping it on. I mean, excuse me. What I mean, can I use any one of the, any one of those in this place, I mean, can can I say, are you taking any carry-on bags into the plane today and yeah. have the same, is the same? Uh -huh. Grammatically, okay. it's it works, but it sounds a little bit less natural. Um, so, okay. because we're loading stuff onto the plane, so like, yeah, we load things onto 
other things. So we load luggage onto oh, a plane. The plane. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. You, again, if you're talking about a car, so it's really odd. I'm trying to come to terms with this myself. Um, we load luggage into our cars, but we put luggage onto the plane. Again, so it's really super arbitrary. Both make sense, okay. but it depends on what you're talking about, either cars or planes. Okay. So, okay. It's a really tricky one. It's okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Um, yes, if I can have. Uh, can we use in last sentence, in last question, um, will you take any carry-on bags? Yeah. Uh, will you take any carry-on bags onto the plane today? Yeah. I think people would often say, will you be taking, so the future progressive, um, will you be taking mm -hmm. any carry-on bags? Okay. But will you take sounds good, too. Because I noticed that I'm using, uh, when I talk about future, like always you will, so <laughs> just uh -huh. to be say, sure that it won't be a huge mistake. Yeah, no, that makes sense for sure. Um, the present progressive and the future are often interchangeable. Um, so, especially if you used okay. to go. Um, but, good. Any other questions? All right, let's go on to the next page. And let's do some reading. I think we're with Salvatore. Can you read this first paragraph? Yes. Cool airports. Any airports built into the side of a mountain is cool. Any airport where the landing strip isn't flat is unbelievable. Unbelievable, un unbelievable, cool. Combine the two and you have Francis Cor Corsival Aeroport where takeoff is unreal. Nice, okay. There's some tricky words here. You did a good job for the most part. Um, back to airport. Airport. Okay, airport. Yeah, airport. Airport. Uh -huh. And then unreal. Unreal. Yeah, unreal. Now unreal. combine. Com combine. Yeah, come, combine. Combine. Yeah, combine. Unbelievably. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Unbelievably, believably. Unbelievably. Good, unbelievably cool. Can you repeat unbelievably cool? Um, unbelievable cool. Believably, believably. <laughs> oh my god. Unbelievable cool. <laughs> Close. Remember blee. So it ends in blee. Blee. Yeah. So un. Un. Ba. Be -lee -lee -ba -blee. Unbelievably. Good. There you go. Say it all together. Unbelievably. Perfect. There you go. Really nice job. Okay, and mountain, mountain. Mountain. Good. And built. Built. Okay. So any airport built into the side of a mountain is cool. Any airport where the landing strip isn't flat is unbelievably cool. Combine the two and you have France's Courcheval Airport, where takeoff is unreal. Can you repeat that one more time? Yes. Any airport built into the side of a mountain is cool. 
Any airport where the landing strip isn't flat is unbelievably cool. Combine the two and you have Francis Corsival Airport where takeoff is unreal. Good, nice job, really good work there. Um, and Firas, welcome to class. Firas, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing really well, thank you for asking. Uh, Firas, uh, where are you from? I'm from Iraq. Okay, nice. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, and we're with um, Salvatore. Can you ask Pavel this next question? Yes, Pavel. What is the most interesting airport you've ever been to? Why? <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> I tried. I tried to imagine uh, something about uh, airport uh, where uh, I have been. Uh, maybe uh, the most uh, interesting airport uh, was in uh, the uh, was uh, Frankfurt. Airport, Frankfurt Airport in Germany. Uh, it it was not it, it wasn't uh, difficult for uh, no uh, this airport uh, is not difficult to land in and uh, uh, there are no uh, mountains uh, nearby this airport. Uh, but uh, it, it is a uh, very big uh, airport, uh, very, very big. And uh, I think uh, uh, it's uh, the one of uh, the most airports in the world. One of the most what airports in the world? Uh, on one of uh, the most airports in the world. We couldn't say the most airport, you could say the most interesting, the most amazing. Uh, yes, adjective. most, uh, uh, most uh, not interesting, most uh, big, uh, no. You could say the biggest. Biggest, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, one of the biggest airports in the world. Nice, okay. Um, Frankfurt Airport in Germany. This airport is not difficult to land in, and there are no mountains near this airport, but it's a very big airport. I think it's one of the biggest airports in the world. Really good. Nicely done. Good grammar, Paolo. Well, thank okay. you. And does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay, let's go on to the next one. Pavel, can you ask Kasia the first question? Okay. Uh, have you ever had a scary flight? Uh, what happened? I had. Um, I didn't have a scary flight because uh, all my flights always were crazy boring. Like no even turbulation. <laughs> it could give some. <laughs> crazy emotions. Um, no, of course I'm joking. Um, it was nice that it was safety and uh, and calm, but I have uh, scary uh, moments at, at the airports because always something happened there. <laughs> but okay. it's actually not an answer on question, I guess, so I don't know what I should say about yeah, it. Go for it. So I had uh, first uh, my problem was uh, at the airport in Warsaw when I went through the gate and uh, there was uh, noise that um, I have something metal. So uh, they start checking me and it was my belt, so I had to just leave it. Uh, later, uh, when I was in Frankfurt, there was okay, but uh, problems were in Vancouver, in uh, Canada, because uh, they didn't like um, 
um, that I'm going there for so long, it was six months. So they were just um, asking me for uh, around two hours uh, about crazy things, about passwords to my emails and everything, uh, emails box. So it was for me nightmare. I was close to cry after this. They were scaring me that they just sent me back. And I just only uh, went there for vacation. So this was for me a nightmare. But luckily, uh, everything finished nicely. And um, third time was at the airport, uh, again, when I was back in Frankfurt, uh, where um, I was going through gates, because they, uh, when I came to Europe, they checked me again. And uh, again, was a s weird uh, noise sound when I was going through the gate. And they uh, took me on the side, and they started checking me. I have to first uh, take uh, off my shoes, and uh, it, there was a problem because uh, in my shoes was aluminium um, thing, so it was making this noise. So, but it was so horrible because it was a lot of people there, a crowded place, and always they were taking me on the side. So, oh, no. <laughs> it was for me drama. I have to like. So bad memories uh, after my last traveling. <laughs> I hope this time will be better. Okay, after my last trip. Yes, yes, after my last trip. Good. Um, that was really, really good, though. Nicely done. There's a lot of speaking, but your grammar, for the most part, was very good. Um, Thanks. Yeah, right at the beginning, I haven't had a scary flight. Instead of saying I didn't have a scary flight, I have not had. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think you said it was nice that it was safety. We'd want it was nice that it was safe. So adjective. Safe. Um. Okay. <clears throat> I'm always doing here mistake with with this word. It's okay. It's not a problem. It's a small mistake. Um, so safe. It's uh, an. Um, safety is a thing. Remember, so it's a noun. Um, safety is a thing. Uh, safe is adjective. Yeah. So the fight was okay. safe. safe. But other than that, yeah, really nicely done. Okay, and Katya, okay. can you ask Firas the next question? Um, Firas, uh, where do you think uh, you will fly uh, next? Even if the next flight is a long time away, uh, what will you do uh, there? Um, okay. Um, I think uh, maybe in, in the next uh, week uh, I will go to Iran, uh, this country near my country. Uh, I am I went to go there to to tourism um, uh, and uh, found some funny there. Uh, after that, uh, I I will go to Russia. Um, with my uh, my friend to to have medicine there uh, because uh, he he felt sick. Uh, I will uh, go with with him uh, for that for there. Um, uh, with 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 that, with that uh, maybe I I have uh, the funny there and uh, tourism and which uh, what is what what is the what is the beautiful uh, medicine there? Our nice um, building, nice uh, garden, anything, anything there. Um, for for that, I I I will go to 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 country in this month maybe. Okay. Um, I'm not sure um, what you said after you go to Russia. Um, so you're going to go to Russia with your friend to get medicine there because you feel sick. Um, and then after, when you're in Russia, you're going to visit some gardens. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, yeah, visit uh, some garden there and uh, watch the, the, the different uh, park or building. Anything beautiful uh, maybe I found there. Okay, so um, maybe we could say some beautiful places. Fitable places, yeah. Gardens and museums, maybe. Okay, yeah. nice. 
Okay, yeah, that was really nicely done. So good job, Firash. Um, thank you, thank you, my teacher. Thank yeah. Thank you. And Firash, can you ask Daniel the next question? Okay. Uh, Daniel, uh, what do you do when your flight gets uh, dated? Well, I I breathe deep. <laughs> and deeply. Deeply. And, and try to to don't get nervous. Try not to get nervous. Not not to get nervous. Uh, maybe if I'm alone, it won't be problem. But if I have with my children, it would become a nightmare <laughs> <laughs> because. Uh, you have to deal with two children running, running for the aisles of the airport, and then you have to to take a flight, a long flight. It's it's a, a really big problem. Okay, yeah, you did a really good job there. So if you're alone, it's not a problem, but if you're with children, it's a nightmare. Um, because yeah. You yeah, nice. Okay, yeah, that was fantastic. Really good job. And does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay, let's go and read this comic. Um, and so, where are we? Uh, Christian, can you read the role of... Hmm. Well, I guess we can take turns reading it. So, let's start with Christian. Can you read the first two sorry. sections? Okay, okay. So, sorry, my teacher. I'm asking about the link here because I'm not can read it. Uh, okay. Can you see it now? Uh, can you can you put the link uh, this uh, the page because we we are not can to read it read it okay the, I, the letter is small yeah. yeah I can zoom in a little bit if that helps um, can you see it now uh, okay thank you yes yes thank you yeah so Christian can you read the first two boxes of course this is Kelvin your captain speaking. Just to reassure you that yes, there is someone up front. <laughs> Good. Um, and so, what's happening in those first two boxes, Christian? What's happening there? Uh, I think uh, in the flying there. Um, let me check. Um, he's saying that there's something in the front that, like, uh, I don't know, stuck. Um, I don't know how to say it. Um, a problem in the front, maybe? Mm, I'm not sure, really. No, I'm not really sure. That's okay. That's okay. This is a tricky one. Amp, what about you? Do you think you can explain what's happening in those first two boxes? The captain? Uh, this is Kelvin, your captain, so you can just to make sure he, uh, he is there in some way. Yeah, as you said, he is <laughs> confirming the, the passenger that someone is uh, in charge of the, yeah. of the plane. <laughs> so somebody is flying this plane, exactly. Um, so he's just reassuring them that yes. I am on the plane. Um, okay, Amp, can you read those next two boxes? Okay, Calvin pilots the jet airliner across the country at 35,000 feet. He's giving clearance to land, but what's this? A plane from a rival airline is making for the same runway to shave precious minutes off its schedule? Good. Can you repeat precious? Precious. 
Uh huh. And then schedule. Schedule. Nice. Okay. <laughs> that was really good. Um, Amp, what's happening here? Well, he is a. Uh, he is a uh, saying the uh, the the high, and then the it well the, uh, another another uh, airplane is just trying to land at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That he is trying to do it. Yeah, and let's have Sarwa. Can you read this next next box? Okay, it's uh, 600 uh, MP H, a game of uh, chicken. Kelvin uh, pulls back on uh, the brutal and uh, worships a hit. Yeah, throttle, throttle. Are hit or throttle? So it's this word right here. It's uh, beginning with th or yeah. throttle. Throttle. What is this meaning? Okay, so does anybody know what the throttle is? Okay, so it's kind of like the accelerator in a car. Again, it's what you pilots use to speed up or slow down. Um, a tool yeah. used to allow more um, gasoline into an engine, I guess, um, <laughs> to be simple. And then a 600 mile per hour. So MPH is mile per hour. Does that make sense? Yay. Okay. Good. And so, Sarwa. Game of, game of uh, chicken, uh, 10 idiom or? Yes, it is an idiom. Game of chicken. What's a game of chicken? Does anybody know? Something very easy to do. Not quite. Oh. <laughs> um, not quite. Okay, so. Does anybody else have any ideas? All right. So a game of chicken is where you're doing something in competition with somebody else that's generally very, very scary. And so the first person to flinch or stop or decide not to play the game is chicken. Um, so they lose the game. So the most common game of chicken is when two cars are driving at each other very quickly and the first person to turn uh, loses the game. It's it's a, it's a very strange game, um, but that's what chicken is. Does that make sense, Sadova? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so 600 mile per hour game of chicken. And let's go back here. Salvatore, can you read the next two lines? Okay. The other pilot tries to cut Kelvin off with a sudden drop in altitude. Kelvin switches on the fasten seat belt, light in the cabin, and does a barrel roll. Um, fasten. 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 Fashion. Close. Check out the chat box. So it's like fa sin fasten. Fasten. Good. Barrel. 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 Good. And let's go the next one. Pavel. New for the comic. Ah. Uh. At five, uh, uh, Jis, Kevin hopes uh, not to back out. Uh, okay. 
uh, is very close in one uh, in on the runway. The other pilot has to has no ch choice uh, but uh, to pull up and circle around again. Kelvin wins. Yay, hey man, it's uh, it's it, it's true. I could get a pilot's license at age uh, 14. 14. No. <laughs> Good. Um, nice. And so, yeah, generally this is just a boy playing make-believe um, about flying an airplane and <laughs> asking if he can get his pilot's license at age 14. His mom says no. Um, so, yeah, does anybody have any questions about this comic? Okay. We are unfortunately just out of time. I've got another class right after this. If you guys want to join that, I'd love to have you. Um, but thanks for coming in, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Thank Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.